Hey, what's going on guys? Sean here, living the corporate pilot life. Tech Tuesday, so I got a video for you guys. I know I missed it last week. Uh, we were out of town and I couldn't get a tech video set up for you guys, so we did the live Q&A. Hopefully you guys caught that, hopefully you enjoyed it, but I'm gonna get back on track today. A lot of you guys have been asking for a tour of the uh, aft equipment area, or so endearingly called the hell hole. Uh, I've got it opened up right here behind me. As you can see, the ladder's already down, so we're going to go up there and take a look. It's pretty dark in there, so I've got a few flashlights set up. Hopefully it lights it up enough to where uh, you guys can see uh, what's inside there. Alright, here we go. Deep dark hole up the ladder. It's early in the morning, but it's already hot outside. Alright. First thing you see right here is the uh, big blue tow bar if we're out on the road somewhere and uh, and we have to get moved and they don't have a tow bar luckily we carry our own it's pretty heavy so hopefully we never have to take it out as you can see going forward up there all sorts of electric stuff up there a little bit of hydraulic stuff a lot of pneumatic all those uh, uh, orange and green insulated lines that's all pneumatic stuff bleed air going into the airplane for various systems a big silver box just in front of the uh, tow bar there. That's the APU enclosure. The entire APU is inside there. If it ever catches on fire, the intention is that uh, that box will contain the fire, not catch the entire airplane on fire. Hopefully that never happens. Coming back here just a little bit. These black boxes, we got one here on the left, one over here on the right. Those are the battery chargers. We have two big batteries inside the airplane, and they are actually located and that big silver enclosure so we can't actually see them but these chargers here will keep them going we got some ducting up here for cooling cools the uh, cools the bleed air when it comes in from the engines these white boxes we got one white box here and then over on the right side we have another white box right here those are the power converters when the power comes in from the engines, the electrical power I should say, it goes into these power converters, comes in as AC power, and then it reconverts it to DC and AC power and spits it out for all the various systems in the airplane. The entire plane can be run off of one of them if we had to. They are 30 kVA for you engineering types over there. Here you go, 30 kVA AC to AC and DC converter. 115 volts, 400 cycles, three phase. So now we're looking aft in the airplane. More electrics. We got some satellite control units back there. This big white thing right here is called the dwell box. That turns the horizontal stabilizer. As we adjust the flaps, that's what moves it. We've got our replenishers over here for hydraulics and for the uh, engine oil. So you guys have seen us replenish the engine oil before. That's where that comes from, that yellow box over there. As you can see, we've got all sorts of cables and pulleys back here. The flight controls on this airplane are all mechanical, so it all comes from those cables and pulleys. They are hydraulically assisted, so we can uh, make it easier to fly, but it's still, at the end of the day, it's still a Cessna 172 cable and pulley style. So that's about it. I've been in here all of about two minutes and I'm already sweating and the airplane's not even running when all this electronics starts running it gets really hot in here really quick take a quick look up here up top more control valves for the uh, bleed air systems so that's it I'm gonna get out of here before I sweat myself to death already uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned a little something. You guys have been asking for this one. So uh, give me that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll uh, see you guys on the next tech video next Tuesday. Keep living the corporate pilot life.